Hi and welcome back to the third video of this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of how Gephi works and its basic functions. And we will go into the more details of analyses in the next video. So first, let's go through these top three buttons right here. Currently, we're in overview, which is where um, we're going to be spending most of our time doing the analyses. In data laboratory, you saw this in the previous videos. This is where you can find your the details on your nodes and edges. So first, let's go through these top three buttons right here. Currently, we're in overview, which is where um, we're going to be spending most of our time doing the analyses. In data laboratory, you saw this in and um, preview is an area where you can set up the image of your network to be exported. It will bring the layout and the structure of your network from overview. And then you're able to pick your presets and the details of um, how you want your image to look. And when you click report, uh, refresh it will show you um, the structure as exactly the locations and structures that are shown in overview and then you're able to export it right here now let's go back in overview um, first here is the context so here you're able to see how many nodes you've got how many edges you've got and whether it's a directed or undirected graph next we're going to look below and we see filters and statistics in the filter, basically, you're able to filter your nodes and edges based on your analysis. For statistics, you're going to be able to run different sorts of um, statistical analyses, which will be very useful later on. Here on the left-hand side, we see appearance on top. This one is going to be quite important to creating the visualizations you want. Um, so you have two options between nodes and edges. For the nodes, you can change the color, the size, the label color, and the label size. And for the edges, you can uh, similarly do the color of the edge, um, the label color, and the label size. And for each of these, uh, you can do unique partition and ranking. For unique is where you can set the color or sizes um, the same throughout the network. For partition is where you can you will have a separate color for each um, parts. For example, here you really have gender, so we can separate the colors for the gender. Let me show you right here. This is what happens when you do a partition. And when you do ranking, it's going to be a gradient. So right now we haven't done many analyses, so we can only have one, which is a degree. And you can also pick a color. So let's say we want to do um, red to green. Red being the lowest degree and, high, and green being the highest degree. And when we apply it, it will change like so. So we see here that this one has... This green has the highest degree. And we can change it back to black with, to all black with uh, the unique. For the layouts tab, you're changing the layout of the whole network. Um, I will be explaining this more in the next video, but for example here, a quick example, you can do force atlas and run it and the, the graph will change. As you can see, and I will show you more about this in the next video. These buttons below here, this is um, visuals, so you can explore them. These ones are um, labels, you can show the label or not, and you can, this is the, the edge size. So you see that the lines get thicker when or thinner when I move it. And this is the 
the label size. So you can do different things here. You can take a screenshot of the current image you have and so on. And these ones right here are, um, the top three here are for selections. So you can move things around. You can, this one is a direct selection. So you can, when you put your um, cursor on a node, it will show you the ones around it. Triangle selection is where you can put a triangle. You can choose multiple ones and also show their connections. And this one is a dragging tool, so you can drag your nodes around. These ones are interesting, and um, I encourage you to explore them. So you are able here. You're able to do some editing to your nodes specifically. So, for example, we want to color uh, Melva and her neighbors. So you can do this, and let's change this intensity to fifty percent, and then it will show Melva and her neighbors who she's connected with. You can also change, you can also look at um, the diffusion and see uh, well, how you want to diffuse the color by. This one right here is the shortest path, which could be interesting if um, that's what you're looking for. For example, you can click on Jim and Benedict, and then <clears throat> it shows you the path that to get from Jim to Benedict, how, uh, what the shortest path is, and for here is this path that lit up right here. And that's basically it um, for a quick overview of how Gephi works. In the next video, I'll show you how to do basic network analyses on uh, this group of uh, individuals we have here.